YouTube, I told you guys before, man, it is salary cap season. That means I'll be playing a lot of leaderboard games, a lot of money games, and this is one of my first money games of the year. So a $50 game against my man TNC Fancy. Fancy's been one of the best players this year, one of the best passers. I know you guys have been watching a lot of competitive Madden, and there's been a lot of running, but uh, Fancy is definitely one of the better passers, uh, and he's going to run this 1-4-6 defense. Really getting after me there. Michael Vick trying to get out of bounds, but I can't. But you guys know, New Orleans, they added this Taysom Hill package. That gives you a quarterback blast right up the middle. Uh, try to throw this up to Mr. Holt, but bang. There goes Tredavious White. You guys use that Tredavious White team of the year card. Really came back and caught a pick on me like that. Uh, man, that's not a good way to start a game, especially against a good offensive player. But we're going to try to play some decent defense, man. We got Fletcher Cox at the tackle. Seahorn, Lattimore, Dion, And we get a scream right there off the edge. And fancy, this was not my fault. He declined that offsides because one of my guys lined up bad. Uh, so he declined it and wound up taking another sack and punting, man. Fancy in the trips tight end. And you guys run trips tight end. Uh, it's really tough to defend. A lot of good routes coming out of that trips tight end as I take a sack from William Jackson. Second and 17. We're just going to take what we can with Vic. Ooh, we take a hit from White right there. Good tackle. Get to a third and five. Stand in the pocket like a man here. He's only got two contains. His D tackle's on the ground. I think Tyreek Hill's going to keep going, but he sits down in the zone right there as we saw him doing the Super Bowl a lot. And I find him right there over the middle. Let a little run. Try to give Vic a little stamina here because we want to keep in mixing in this blast. And the blast is really effective against 146. If you guys uh, have played Madden this year, you know 146 is one of the tougher defenses to really uh, pass against. So you want to be able to mix in this blast as we do here on fourth down. Really, it's just a great short yardage play as I carry John Henderson there, you know, for a couple extra yards. And it's always good we can do that. Vic, my quarterback right now, Southern Cap, my quarterback is 300 cap. And, you know, that's why we can try to get away, but that's Khalil Mack. And you're not going to get away from Khalil Mack that much. So third and long, I just try to run blast, hopefully hit a home run. And we're going to punt the ball out of here. So he's playing tough defense against me. I got to take my time, and I got to tackle this kick return. Tyree kill, you can't do that. But Clowney gets him down. Uh, so we got to keep playing defense, man. We're really just kind of bagging each other early in this game. As we see Vic getting up out of there. The one thing he has is agile extender on Vic. So when my DBs blitz, they're not going to be able to tackle him right there. He just gets what he can on the ground with Vic. Next play, same thing, rolls out. But I go and send the spy. And Barr goes and gets him. I use Barr and Clowney at defensive end. There we go. Boom. Send the spy. He still has time. We bump there. He breaks the sack again and gets out of there. This ability is really killing for him. First and 10 again. He goes up top to Tyree Kill and he mosses Deion Jones. Huge play right there. But uh, he, but I feel like Tyreek had a little step on Deion Jones, so I'm not too mad about that. And right here, we do what Vic does. Go up top. Tyreek. I got a Tyreek of my own. Hit the big post inside the 10. And this is where the blast is the best weapon in the game because it just kills short yardage. It really does. You see, just getting... Just taking a little bit of the time, two yards, three yards, four yards, and carry the whole team into the end zone. That's what a 300 quarterback, 300 cap quarterback can do, and that's why I have him. We tied the game up, looking good, looking strong. Right here is when I started to realize, man, I got to use Deion Jones the right way, put him in a mid-read, and it kind of really bags what Fancy wants to do. Wants to go up top, out of the reach of Devin Hester right there, get him to a third and 17, and big cocks. Comes through the A-gap. Sacks the quarterback, forcing a punt. We got 25 seconds. Let's see if we can do something. Great punt from Fancy, man. That's an underrated part of man is being able to punt well. Back your opponent up. Have a little more time here. Trying to run, run, run around with Vic. Can't find nothing. 17 seconds left. Blocking the pressure is pretty good. Hit the drag right here to Tory Holt. Get out of bounds. We still got two timeouts. And, hey, two timeouts, that means two blasts for me. That's six yards. Call the timeout. Next play. Boom, that's two yards, call the timeout, get up to the 35-yard line, able to kick the field goal. The blast is just such a weapon. Uh, and when they put it in my playbook where I know I can pass out of really something I want to explore, and I'm having a lot of success running this offense. Speaking of running, he tries the inside zone right there. Shazier blows it up, second and 11, drops back. Mama, there goes that man, Clowney. That's full Clowney, 41 cap Clowney. Third and 22, playing safe right here. 
keep trying to keep everything in front of me. Throws the laser over the middle. Just a terrible mistake by me to get that up. Got to move my safety down closer to the box. Stop those streaks as Clowney stops the run. Second and nine drops back. Deion Jones in the mid-read is just bagging. Has all day, though, able to throw that playmaker up right there. I believe that's Marquise Brown. He has a wide receiver. First and ten, midfield. Feeling good. Always feel good when you had a lead, man. That's how Madden works. Vic gets up and out of there. A couple yards. Just keep it in front. I'm not giving up any big plays. He's really chipping away. He's having some success, but I'm feeling good on defense. Runs a little inside zone there. Barr and Shazier just rally to the ball. First and 10, though, he picks it up. There's Fletcher Cox. There's Jadavion Clowney, the predator, getting after the quarterback, man. Second and 17, throws the streak. We're not going to have that one. Wish I would have came up with that football right there. Third and 17, Barr gets the quarterback, brings him down, gets him to a fourth down. He's going to put a boot into it. Uh, it's going to be more than likely I'm going to be backed up here if he gets a good punt. And he knocks me out at the three-yard line. So great punt. Gonna run some blasts, just get my get out of the shadow of my own goalpost. Drop back here, block everybody, hit the in route right there to Hester. Now I'm on conservative. The thing about blast is you're on conservative, so you can't really hit spin moves and anything like that. As a little blast again, right up the middle. As we see, he's going to more to that three four. He's almost in run defense. That's the point of the blast. Get your opponent out of pass defense and get them in run defense, so you can look up top. Go for the post route, Tyreek Hill, and we're taking this one to the Baja. 10-point lead with three minutes left. I'm feeling good. Feeling like this game is in the bag. But, you know, you know I mean, this is why we watch Madden, to see what an opponent can do down 10 with three minutes left. Pitches it back to Hester. We're really wrapping up. I'm feeling good. No big plays, no big plays. That's that's pretty much how I'm feeling right now. He rolls out, playmakers up, throws it up to Kittle, and Seahorn just shits the bed. Godly. Then he tries to get crazy, and Sean Taylor kills Kittle. This Kittle he has is on the juice. I don't know what type of PEDs he has, what's he been doing, but, he, I mean, he kills me. Right there, great defense. Send the spy, make him throw the ball away. Second and ten, this one he gets me. Catches me on the safety and cover two. I had to cover the this, this streak on the outside. He hits the seam up the middle. Takes a big chunk of that lead out. Only down by three now. And we got to play some good offense right here. We got to be safe. We got to take care of the ball. Two minute warrants coming up. You know, we're feeling good. The one thing about the blast, you got to be on conservative. We get to the two minute warning. Vic is fully healthy and we run into Sean T. That's the downside of the blast. The way you defend the blast is the hit stick. That is it. As we see him break another, I'm telling you, the amount of sacks he broke with Michael Vick with his agile extender ability was insane these games. But that time, Barr gets him. He's not going to break the sack of a DN or a D-tackle, just a DB. Under a minute left, he hits that post. The Kittle again, just threatening the needle. Kittle kills me. I'm going to use my timeout, man. It's 40 seconds left. We have plenty of time to get downfield. You guys saw the high-octane offense. Michael Vick, 300-cap quarterback. You know you're going to make something shake in these situations. Just take it with the fullback run up as much as you can. Fall down. First down. Three-man rush. We're in the pocket. We're in the pocket. We're making plays. We're making plays. We're going to throw it up to Tyreek Hill. That's what Michael Vick does. Boom. And we're just going to call timeout here because we don't think we're going to run for any yards. We don't want to get any further away from field goal range. So we're going to come out here and field goal. Uh, he has all three timeouts. I'm definitely going to be iced here. And you know what? I'm thinking, man, this is going to be a tough field goal. 34 plus 10 is 44 plus 7 is what? A 51-yard field goal. I have a 10-cap kicker. Uh, I've been flirting with the 28-cap Zane Gonzalez, but now I'm on a 10-cap kicker. And because of the ice, I completely forget to lower the arrow. So my 10 cap kicker, what he's going to do is kick, put his boot into it, but just that's not a Timberland boot. That might be a Lugs boot. And the field goal comes up short, 51 yard field goal. I might have not made that from 41. Uh, the ice just made me lo not lower my, whatchamacallit, lower the arrow. So didn't get enough power behind it, kicked it too high. He gets the ball to start overtime, feeling good. Oh, Shazier, we need that pick. Doesn't get the pick, man. Cover two again. Threads the needle. Kittles. We need the football right there. Two throws and tons of traffic. 
Next play, the same third and 10. He's able to hit this drag on the knee. Then they give him enough for the first down. First and 10. He throws a laser that time to Hester over the middle. Boom, post. Bang. Number first and 10. I feel like he has all day. Get a pick. Oh, that was really close to get a pick. Playmaker up right there to Mr. Uh, Hollywood Brown. Chris Johnson picking up a nice game right there. Nice 10 yard gain. It's got a home out of the end zone. That's all we got to do here, boys, right? Boom. And we get the sack. Mr. Anthony by with the sack. Third and seven. Feeling good. He goes to that post route again and just Kittle. I just can't make Kittle drop the ball. It's pretty insane. Right here. Boom. He breaks another sack with Michael Vick. Rolls out. Gets rid of the ball there. I'm telling you, this this agile extender where he breaks the sack is pretty alarming. Goes for the high ball here. Kittle just out of bounds. I need Marshawn Lattimore to come down with that. Third and goal. Who else does he go to? Kittle back at the end zone for the GGs in the chat. Huge drive right there. Felt like I was playing decent defense. Just got to get off the field. Got to make a couple plays. Shazier catch that pick. We win. Uh, man, if I could make Kittle drop the ball, I'd be cool. Great game, man. We played a rematch right after this. And I do feel like, man, if Seahorn makes that one pick, boom, I win again. I was just replaying the last play, seeing if I made any mistakes. But uh, like I said, if Seahorn makes that one pick, if Vic doesn't fumble, uh, definitely win this game. Thought I played really well this game. Uh, so I really wanted my rematch. So if you guys want to see the rematch, get this video to 200 likes.